Whoa, hello there! It's your buddy, Admiral Teague, and my pal, Captain Petty! Welcome to the officer's lounge. Hola. I'm oh, sorry, uh, Admiral. Uh, greetings. Uh, Captain, we're here to watch two trailers. Um, one, uh, the first one, these movies have not been released in the time frame of our audience, but we here... Lucky in, you, listening to this in the 21st century. We are on the other side of You're the hole. You're still basking in the wonderment. That Wonder is Man. everything, everywhere, all at once. And if you, you know, what a great time to be alive for people who love prequels, uh, reboots, um, subversion, Strife. real theme of the time, yeah. uh, chaos. Um, you know, and, and depression, a, anxiety, a creative freedom where there was an absence of what we call a narrative flow. Do you remember when we cause and effect wasn't as important as that big popping image. Do you remember when we um, when we cured um, anxiety and depression of society with? Um, with uh, fitness and friendship. Do you remember that? Uh, was it? Uh, yes, I believe I remember that. That was done around the year 20, uh, in 22... Uh, 60? I don't know. It was a while ago. I was not, wasn't alive for any of that. In yeah, no, it was a while ago. So today we're going to... Uh, we're going to look back. And the last trial we watched was Wakanda Forever. Uh, did we, did you, did we, you went to see it? Actually, um, I was going to... But then um, I stumbled upon this movie called The Blade Runner 2049. It was thought provoking. The acting was exquisite. The uh, the set pieces there weren't really set pieces because sometimes you just need to show beautiful visuals and you don't have to punch them. That was that it was quite the experience. Uh, but I'm I'm meaning time. to get to Wakanda Forever any 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 day now because so right, I, so, I want to review. So we're it. going to get to. It. All right, but so we the, have. Um, a trailer, uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Oh, I remember from this Lucas, one. Lucasfilm, high quality filmmakers for the 20th Yeah, years. Lucasfilm. I, I'm not sure they had anything to do with this. Now, um, we uh, are going to be able to just sort of watch this trailer. And let me tell you something if there's one thing about these Disney sort of. Is this a Disney movie, technically? This I'm is. The Troy and Pretend. It's not a Disney movie, but it certainly is. Alright, so we're gonna watch this trail from the top. And uh, this is from, uh, what's it, I believe it's Paul Goldman, uh, the filmmaker. Oh, uh, uh, I mean. The no, first name that comes to mind. Not is, one um, man makes a film, Admiral, but I can tell you something right now one man could ruin it. <laughs> In this case, the one man who ruined it was uh, probably Harrison Ford by Green. Actually, at this point, with this type of film quality, I think the only people that ruin these films are the people that go to see them. Because the only reason these exist is because of the law of diminishing returns, which doesn't exist, obviously, in uh, the 21st century. Anyway, um... Let's uh, let's start this trailer off. Alexa, who is the director of Indiana Jones 5? Alexa's still real, by the way. Okay. All right. Uh, Alexa, let's work on that later. Alexa, you stupid bitch. Alexa. Who is the director of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny? All right, Alexa. Now, um, the thing is, my genetically engineered... Wait, what if she's right? (laughs) What if it is Steven Spielberg? It's not Steven Spielberg. Oh, Lord's below. I'm pretty... It doesn't matter who it is. His name is Matthew Goldman. All right. His name is, uh, I believe, Goldman or Goldfinger. Um, Anyway, uh, um, let's get started on this trailer. The first thing that comes to mind, obviously... We're having an easy time uh, coming to figure out who James Mangold is. Oh, the director of Three Tents and Yuma. You know what? The first name that comes to mind when you think of Indiana Jones is actually is uh, obviously Bart- James Mangold. Uh, well, actually, um, he was actually an excellent director. Three Tents and Yuma. Um, he, Three Tents and Yuma with Christian so- Bell and uh, oh, what's his was name? it Jor L? Um, yeah, well, he died hundreds of years ago. He was a 20th century actor. Well, it was just a Maximus, 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 Russell Maximus. Crow, Russell Crowe. Ah. Russell Crowe, yes. Um, he was, uh, he, but anyway, here we go. That's with, a movie uh, about a train. James Mangold. This movie is about a dial. James so Mangold, visionary filmmaker. And we see here a shot of, like, uh, uh, North Africa. I, I don't Iraq, see any CGI. Um, this looks great. <laughs> the the car great chase, practical. action. Oh, my boss. Well, we, we see... 40, 10, oh, sorry, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. We we're, see we're a beautiful cartoon. To where we, we just oh, God. We, we, <coughs> we see a beautiful of, cartoon version of New York City. A um, horrible isometric view right after an excellent... Oh, my God. And I'm going to say right now, terrible. this view of New York City, they weren't even willing to pay for things that would make you have a good member, Barry. Like, why not the badge on those cars that don't exist anymore, like a Chrysler? Well, I'm just... Like, not, not a Chrysler, but like, let's say, uh, Plymouth. 
Uh, you know, car. The Dodge Dart? Yeah, there's a car that is from about this time. This appears to be the late 1960s with the Indiana Jones of about 60. Hand painted signs. How much time is elapsed in this? I mean, look at that police car. Uh, and that oh, is absolutely. Actually, that looks the, like an 80s police car. That actually. looks like a 70s police car, mid 70s. I wasn't but alive it, in the 70s. It, it looks like a little. Li- we were Neither of us were alive in the 70s. We were That's born right. in the 20. Well, I was born around 2259. But I don't know. Some about of those lampposts are actually still around. Yeah, lampposts are still around. Um, so, um, what they could easily have done. Um, a lot of these are old law tenements, which obviously are buildings that were erected around the 1890s. Um, they could have just gone to some Harlem residence, maybe just taken a, like, this looks like this a complete is not CGI fucking, actually, if you look. Is that the MetLife building? No, it's, that's the Empire State Building. And if is you, it though? If look you look closely, that might be the Chrysler. If you look closely, Aldridge Street, let's look that up. Eldridge Street. Eldridge Street. This might actually be uptown New York City. No, I think it is. Look at from that. It's not uptown. It's way down below 14. You absolutely. This is made by people who have never been to New York. I know. Well, if you, if that is my uh, opinion. All right. Let's what hit, am I trying to? Let's hit. I, let's hit start on this trailer. Oh, uh, go ahead. Take it. Take it away. But not. Very All right. So it's a CGI not nightmare. I the trailer. He misses the sea. CGI pirate underneath the water. He's got a TARDIS or a pressure cooker, oh, one or the other. It looks like a pressure cooker. We see an old man waddling across the bridge. And here it comes. Oh, the tr- nice. All this action. This actually looks like it might be pretty good. I'm going to point out they knew that there would be a New York in the movie, and they messed yeah. that up bad. I don't that know. New this York actually looks, looks kind like of exciting. Shit. We saw, already saw a plane taking off. We saw a uh, train. The two old men reflecting oh. on the past. The train okay. scene. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh my god! Alright. Okay, now Captain Petty we're has to stop this. and we're pausing it at 47 seconds where we see Antonio no, Banderas taking a shit. Oh, oh, yes, but no, a uh, few seconds earlier we saw, um. And that's the only time we see Antonio Banderas described as primary bad guy. Oh, I've, so I've heard. Um, it's just that we need to pause it at a certain time because there is a, um. A shit a show very... of bad CGI? Holy shit! 45 seconds! Uh, it's probably one of the really sexiest real. images in this entire trailer, because uh, there's no, there's actually there's no sex appeal in these movies anymore, at all. Like it's not the 70s. I would have uh, Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford de-aged, yeah, or is this a complete dead fake re- um, remake? It, or he is it a cutscene? Is it a cutscene without Sean Connery in the picture, or Sean Connery cropped out it with looked, a computer? I don't it know. Could be left. It he looks, looks too good. younger than he did in Kingdom, than he did in uh, uh, Last, Last Crusade. Crusade. Where this is a one for one at 45 seconds of the official Lucasfilm trailer. 7.1 million views. Now I'd point out 150,000 upvotes and 50,000 downvotes. Uh, well, as that snapshot that. in time. Let me time. ask you something. Um, and it's been embargoed, but I did register our, right. uh, my downvote. It's just that when a trailer of this magnitude gets released, 7 million views is kind of a joke. It's underwhelming, yeah, actually. Yeah, a joke. Uh, it's been out for two days, and only about as many people as live in the city of New York have watched it. 8.9 million internet. people live in this beautiful city. In the, uh, that includes people who put, who, who, who put this on, hit infinite repeat while they were having a stroke and died, and their phone is still showing it. Oh, so that's probably it. Let's continue. I hope people like and follow our stream as we continue to examine uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny trailer. And again, James Mangold seems to have mangled, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of New York here, but getting on Probably to the halfway fault. point. I'm sure this trailer is going to get great now. Um, let's see. He's opening up a MacGuffin. We see Antonio Banderas taking a shit. We see a, uh, an absolute Nazi. Wait, and, I'm sorry. Is that the not the same Nazi from the Open the Ark of Covenant? No, but he looks a lot like him. And you know what? Indiana Jones is stealing lines from Han Solo. I don't believe in magic. Real all of this, but I've seen it about a few times in my life. By the way, uh, Admiral, you're I've completely right. Things. Eldridge Street is downtown. Eldridge things Avenue is uptown. I can't explain. Yeah, that was supposed. To, that that was someone who's never been to Manhattan's idea of like right around 14th Street area. That's like you now Broom and Sullivan. The Trade Center will be built where he's walking, I believe, right? Uh, no, that's actually he's far, right, just north of the midtown. landfill that becomes that. He's he's in that area. <laughs> New York's all landfill now. And, and all hell, uh, you know, the, uh, the... All hell. All, all hell, the uh, heroes of the Trade Center, as we rock into 50 seconds of this video. And Indiana Jones seems to be finding a weird 
underimagined prop that is like a prop. wheel of time, should I say? Uh, or a dial of destiny, you'd say. Or a thing of birth control pills from the 20th century. It does in the look like dial. birth control pills. It looks pills. a lot like Not a birth that. control dispenser. If you have ever had a girlfriend who was on what they colloquially called the, 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 the capsule? The pill. The pill. Well, um, Admiral, I have to say, no matter what century it is, I am a complete stranger to birth control. I will say <laughs> this. Everybody should see how Indiana Jones is giving us a literal three-headed look as his head tracks oh. to three places see. around his goddamn body in what looks like it could have been the only interesting sequence of this movie, and it looks flat and well phantom said, menacey. Admiral. So we are... Uh, so flat, so phantom menacey. So, no, absolutely not. I do think The Phantom Menace, which came out in 1999, I believe. Looks better than this. Looks better than this. Yeah. Um, so we have a cartoon so New York. So it's based on par. We have a cartoon New York. Which, have, first of all, the one for one indie is have, great. We're seeing all our money in one for one indie. We have a fake New York. We that have a sucks. real horse. We have a real rider and a fake face. And as us to be real New Yorkers, to see people who have... I mean, Kathleen Kennedy, what the hell? You can't come down from your ivory tower in Disneyland and come to new fucking York to do some research. It's called a pleasant trip to a cool city. I mean, you would never, no New Yorker buys that shot of the, what the hell, it wasn't even a, a bad rendering of the Empire State Building, honestly. And then Indiana Jones in the barrel of birth control at 53 seconds. And the horse tracking oddly at 55 seconds has us both just shaking our heads. Wait, maybe we should check the tracking on the VCR. Oh, no. Oh, this is a computer. Oh. You're going to have to wait on that, Mr. Plinkett, because we have to order new parts We're from the VCR from Mr. Detroit. Plinkett. So you I can want my watch. Type. You're going to be able to watch your old episodes of The Nightcore. Equalizer. <laughs> and what is with. They assassinate. They Next summer, they are going to character assassinate Indiana <laughs> Jones. On Fifth Avenue, I think, Get and a bad God. rendering of Fifth Avenue. Actually, you can see the horse. Um, they're in the 59th Street. Stage. This is like a Rolling Avenue. Stones concert without music. We are seeing an amazing spectacle of explosions and flare right up front, and then settling into, you know, in the Rolling Stones, they would just play a lot of great, you know, hits. But what they're doing here is look, a Rolling Stones cover band that's not quite that good and a little too Vegasy. You're trying to redo the Stone songs, and it's a little too clean, and it lacks that swagger and anger and drunkenness that made the Rolling Stones a 20th century rock and roll band that made it somewhat into the 21st century. Let's let's wrap this trailer up. Because, uh, it, it's, we see Nazis. We see birth control. We see what looks like a one-for-one one of Temple of Doom. We see what looks very similar to Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. The, the Manhattan scenes are terrible. Um, even right. the car... Oh, he, now we see him grabbing his hat, his whip. Is uh, it him grabbing his hat? Oh, and whip? rolling rocks! I don't know if that's a rolling him grabbing rock. his hat oh. and whip. You, we, you know, we don't. Uh, oh, He's whoa! Is he in space? In a Millennium Falcon? Uh, this is before the movie has been released. We know there are many, many endings in play at this point, but yes, we do see what appears to be undeniably. Indiana Jones in, in space. In a fucking spaceship. In a, well. That looks like it might be a jet. They make, no, they, they make show sure the plane landing. It's in the so earlier. big. Can we trust anything we see? And well, let's finish this trailer off so we could, I can tell you what I, what I see. I hate the sequence in New York. Everything in New York is ass. Our villain has frosted hair. Our stand-in so for now Antonio Banderas. It's all over the place, and it looks like a lot of one-for-ones of the good Indiana Jones movies. Oh, because there's a Rolling Rock? Wow. I wish... Uh, you know what? They had a lot of Rolling Rock reason. before they made this oh. movie. <laughs> and have a lot of Rolling Rock before you see this movie. Uh, oh, oh, God. Try and it. what's with the theme song redone that way so badly? It makes us feel re uh, reflective. This movie doesn't want us to like it. Well, and the, all these people at the end of the trailer. Well, they then pull guns. out guns... But, uh, so he just ducked and got away from the bullets? No one aimed down. And they, but the CGI available this time could have had him do a Spider-Man move that didn't require him to be strong, just smart. I mean, he could have whipped out the window backwards and maybe just got lucky by getting missed. Like, I he mean, didn't have insert, to be the greatest. Insert Brandon Lee joke there. What? Now. His enemies have to be the dumbest ever. Oh, God. The right, dumbest right. ever! All right, Admiral, let's reflect on what we just saw. 7.1 million people have been treated to this spectacle. Treated! Is this video for real? Admiral, what do we trust? What, what is the we point? Saw? What is the point of a movie trailer? 
to show us, to get us to want to spend our money on the movie. What, what, what would you give And this? by the way, as we look at other people, uh, you know, analogizing this movie, we're seeing bait and switch. It's worse than we thought from our, 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 our friend oh, Doomcock. Yeah, we're, we're not being clickbait here, but ever, Doom, what, Doomcock what you, would be a powerful what, ally, Captain. What, what do you think, how many stars would you give this round? All right, well, what's our uh, matrix here? We've never really given let's, a uh, rating a trailer. Let's this is our five first stars. Time. Five sounds fair. I'm going to say I can't give it any stars at all, and I would like to give it negative. reverse you stars. Can give it negative. I would like to say that. Do you think this took away from your, your cinema going experience? If all right, did, first of all, this made. If this is supposed to make me want to see the movie, I reverse want to see the movie now, okay? Reverse want. Oh, by the way, anyone knows the. the reverse see the movie means we don't want to say it! We don't want to see this movie at all. I give this trailer five stars, Admiral. Do you know why? You tell me. Because if, if, if I just heard an Indiana Jones movie was coming out, I would go see it. Now that I've seen this trailer, there was. All the action in this trailer is from the past. The train it's sequence. All in the past. The, the CGI horse, the best looking thing in this trailer and there is, is no, probably fake. And there's no one who isn't listening to talking about this. This is the number one thing uh, all over the internet. They're re-examining every single so the big Indiana with this movie Jones. Is that Indiana Jones gets Indiana Jones killed and erases Indiana Jones, forcing Fleabag to become Indiana Jones. Allegedly, there is a time travel plot in this movie. Let's address time travel right now, in world. Um, this time travel is one of the reasons why I want to give this movie negative stars. Uh, time travel right away, a real problem. You are swimming with sharks if you want to travel time. What are you thinking? That was well put. That was well put, Admiral. May I say something? The cornerstone of an Indiana Jones movie... Was time travel? It's adventure! <laughs> it is going to unknown parts of the world! It's examining wonders of this earth that have only been muttered underneath the voices of mute monks. And the name The Jay Chalice! And the, the wooden chalice from the, the eternal that's life! That's the cup of a carpenter. Oh, God. Dare I say. And even Kingdom uh, of the Crystal Skull gets a little bit because, well, they are going to go. It, it gets a little bit of a pass because it actually, with some due respect, Reveals aliens exist, and that and it almost works. If it wasn't for the cartoon CGI, it would have almost. Are you worked. talking about uh, in Kingdom of the Crystal Green Skull? Not the worst Indiana Jones movie, and if they had gone it out, it is on the that, worst. There are. If we're gonna deny, well, right now there's it is the worst because the fifth one has not come out in the timeline we're broadcasting to. No, is, you said it isn't the worst. Uh, it, the it, well, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is not the worst. Is, is the, the worst the least good. as of the time of our broadcast. It's the least it's good. Not. Yes. So okay. I, None of them are actually bad so I yet. Need, I need to get into one thing because I, I think you feel very strongly about this. There's a movie called The Temple of Doom. Indiana Jones. That gets a lot that, of flack. That movie was a, made a prequel because they wanted to work in Belloc, and then they decided it would just be too confusing. But they love Belloc, and who didn't? Belloc is the best Indiana Jones villain we ever got. We never got better than Belloc. I just want to go on record. But I want to agree with Temple you. Temple of Doom is, <coughs> it needs three villains to catch up to Belloc. It's got the little kid, it's got Mola Ram, and it's got the Prime Minister, and it's, you know, it's just a, Indiana so, Jones and the Temple of Doom is the greatest of the Indiana Jones movie. A, a lot of people give it unnecessary shit. It's the Star Trek V of Why that. do you think people give it unnecessary shit? Because people were showing that they would be easily manipulated because that movie broke from form. By being a prequel, they dialed back his trait. He wasn't as benevolent. They showed why he became a good person. He was unprincipled scientist Indiana Jones at the beginning, and he's acting like James Bond, and it's cool. Now, the opening sequence of self-preservation... Well, he's wearing James Bond's outfit well, when yes. he walks into the room. Now... That's and who's his father? Sean, Sean, James Bond. Yeah. Bond. Now, James Bond. The first twenty minutes of that movie is at that club, the Obi Wan Club. No, well, but the, by the end of twenty minutes, we're getting on the plane. But yes, it yes. includes the car but chase. How, how? Yes. How awesome is the beginning of that movie? Anything goes. And how awesome is the middle and end of that movie? Why do you think? See, I, I never understood why Temple of Doom, in all its glory. Got so much flat. 
right. You know what's the best? I, I will tell you right now why why Twinbolt Doom gets flack. I'm never going to go on to uh, the other issue of time travel, which is really the heart of our problem with Indiana Jones. And then let's talk and about this. The, and dial, I mean, uh, the diaphragm of destiny? <laughs> the diaphragm of what me? Uh, D Indiana Jones and the BDSM whip of uh, badassery. See, now you're making it okay. It would be better if it had BDSM. By the way, Fleabag, not the worst looking lady, not the worst person Where for an action Fleabag adventure movie, but we don't need more Indiana Jones and we don't need girl Indiana Jones. We need a new hero. I don't mind having a girl Indiana Jones. I, I mind having any in a, Indiana Jones after 1989. Really, The Last this. Crusade was the perfect organic exit. It's called The Last Crusade. I know it's for the Crusade. But... You know what? I'm going to be the honest. The Lord's below. Like, give me a... There's problems. There's problems with King of the Crystal Skull. There are. You can call it out. But here's the thing. Ooh, it's not. Forever. But it's not bad-hearted, and it didn't come it's from a bad not, place. This is coming from a nowhere place. This movie <laughs> has no heart. It's a nowhere man. Indiana it's a nowhere Jones man. Uh, Five. Do not hit is, that button again. We're not watching this again. It is absolutely. I just that CGI. Let's, was a, let's talk about. They did this. Can I just say? We're not the, 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 the talking York about City's, the Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom is the shows that people are dumb because they don't like it automatically simply because he does not go to the college and there are no Nazis. But I don't understand why it gets flack. Because he doesn't go to the college and it's a new, different enemy. It's a great movie. It's the best do of the Indiana Jones movies because it breaks with tradition and shows that you can do anything with Indiana Jones. And Except instead, people rebel. Or shit on it and, yeah, well, with we'll CGI. Well, we'll talk about Indiana Jones 5 and the diaphragm of, do of doom. Uh, this trailer was uh, obviously uh, at zero stars with minus one for time travel. And I'm going to take another one away because this time travel looked very badly explained. See, we don't know there's time travel. You know what? It's not what you believe. It's how hard you believe it. It's one of the stupidest <laughs> fucking lines I've ever heard in my life. What does that mean? What does that even fucking mean? This Zach is a man Snyder. who knows. Zach, Zach, we're sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. Yeah. We're sorry. Martha so is now a great line. Indiana Jones has witnessed eternal life and aliens and the undead and says he doesn't believe in magic. Even by the time The Force Awakens came around, when they said to him, when they eternal life. This music, this movie is worse than The Force Awakens because of this. Ready? Han Solo, who stops the movie dead when he returns to The Force Awakens, he at least is a little more self-aware than this Harrison Ford. He's like Chewie or home, you know what I mean? He's a little more in his own spirit. This Indiana Jones is on, the back, on his back magic. heel. Yeah, and you know what they say to him? There is a knight they say to they say sitting to, in a cave! They say to Han Solo, there's no such thing as the Force. He goes, no. Nah. Who's still alive in from the Crusade? In The Force Awakens, Harrison Ford's Han Solo at least says, I want the Force is real. Yeah, it's all real. Of it. All of it. It's I all true. It's all true. Uh, and that's this line in this in this stupid turn I don't of a trailer. Magic. More repurposing. Always recycle, folks. That's the lesson of this very green Basic. plot. This is a very green plot. They've recycled elements of everything. Indiana Jones' entire job is proving that magic is real. And while we see Indiana Jones in space, he's repurposing a line from Han Solo. Huh. I've been to a lot of places. Been to one side of the galaxy to the other, but one all powerful. Wait, what happened to his wife? We'll probably find that out. And what's going on with this crazy JFK in Dealey Plaza, New York City parade? Oh, I didn't make that correlation. A, yeah, it is especially oh, right. 19. Uh, and uh, then we've got Indiana Jones uh, whipping around with the whip in that room. Absolutely the dumbest thing ever. That would never, ever, all right, let's ever wrap work. This up. I need a fucking. I need a. I want to know who picks up that fucking outfit. I do not think. I need a palate cleanser. You know what? There's Watch another the movie. Uh, from this era that came out at the same time as uh, Indiana Jones. What's it called? It is a great film that you will love. <sighs> it was made by... I need something stupid, I need something dumb, and it can't involve anything but Actually, what Actually, we're going to jump genres here, and uh, we're going to go to horror. And uh, I'm just going to say, if you're going to read horror... Maybe it's your like best you're typing in the word cocaine, which is never associated with horror in my book. Never associated with horror or fentanyl, right? Oh, well. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, never, never, never. And, uh, um, in the 21st century, fentanyl queens, is a huge problem. Uh, you have to stay away from what the Admiral is now ably uh, recalling is uh, the substance uh, 
Uh, it, what did they call it? Co- cocaine. Uh, do cocaine, but you don't have cocaine in 2022. You, this, you don't have cocaine. You have stepped on you cocaine. You have what they told you is cocaine, but it is, in fact, poisonous fentanyl. If it's really good cocaine, then it just means you're still buying fentanyl. When I take the temporal transporter <laughs> back to 2022 to see their movies and review them for them and try to help them through this you this great time of prequels and yeah. reboots, because... You bring them real cocaine? No! I take my own and stay away from these people. They're insane and they all have the couve. Why are uh, they all set? We'll talk about that in a second. We're going to watch now. For, it's from Elizabeth. Cocaine Bear. Elizabeth Banks, the filmmaker. The trailer is two Are minutes and in, in thirty six seconds long. It's the official trailer. Now this is brought to us by. Um, is he an ambulance. You uh, see a great seventies aesthetic. Uh, is it the seventies? Yes. Oh, well, I wish there was a way to prove. They that. open the door. It's maybe nineteen eighty. It might be the mid nineteen eighty. Oh, that's a cartoon bear, but I don't care for some reason. It's it's. Oh, because everything else is real. Uh, yeah, we are grounded in reality as dumb as this scene is, but then when we I see the bear, terrible, he is but terrible. But I'm, I'm kind of all but in. But fun, terrible. There is a man chucking cocaine off a plane. Out of a plane. Knoxville, Tennessee. There's more of this out there, and we see is that Felicity? Felicity. Yes, that is Boba Felicity, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, she she a shoots down Poe Dameron in the movie The Rock. Holy Star shit! Water. Pause. That way, pour one out uh, for out a for good Ray fella. Leota. A good fella. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, he he, uh, he was he, from a blue heaven. He did you knew get what, that reference? Yes, Ever? I did. And they, you know what? Do you, knew, do you really get that reference? Do you remember Spider? Yeah. Yeah. He, he wait, the, wait, here's wait. the spider from Goodfellas. Wait, do you know the, the, the blue heaven reference? The Steve Martin movie. It's a sequel to Goodfellas. Is it off the same book? No, it's a sequel. Yeah. It's, oh, it's a satirical sequel from the same no, guy? No, it's not satirical. I don't did well. I think they they comed they comedied up the the book more. Yeah. Well, you don't get Steve yes, Martin. Really you don't get Steve Goodfellas Martin for drama. He's one of the best funny people out there when you give him the right material. You know what my favorite thing about Goodfellas is. And I'm not saying that Steve Martin can't do drama. Don't send us letters. No one sends us letters anymore. Anyway. Oh, by the way, yes, he can. Please like and follow us and comment on us. Um, um, the, what's the name of the the uh, the real name of the writer of the Goodfellas book? The wise guy. Henry Hill. By is the that way, real name, yeah, whatever. And, and they dealt the a lot of cocaine, well, which this say, bear um, is he very said into. That the bear is eating kilos of cocaine. That was We're, an entire brick. Uh, and I think, first that, of all, you can't eat cocaine and then snort it up your nose. And if uh, you can, you know what? You're not a bear. <laughs> how do we know? We don't know how well this was researched. For all we know, they took hundreds and hundreds of pounds of cocaine and, and down gave it to dozens going. of bears. To see what would happen. I had a point because about Goodfellas, but it's fine. Make your point. Henry Hill said his life in uh, My Blue Heaven was better than his life as a gangster. He takes back all the um, all the dramatization. But anyway, back, back to the cocaine bear. Weird thing is it... If you're not a gangster, it's okay. That is a weird thing. And that is a weird thing I did not know about Goodfellas, a movie I love. Okay. Um, it's probably one of the best movies. We'll, we'll do that. Later. Well, you know, that's just Cocaine Bear. Is I'm just so glad this movie. Cocaine. Has, I'll I'm say this. So quick. glad this movie has nothing to do with Han Solo. And right oh now, the one minute mark. Of course, seeing Jesus a better bear. Jesus Christ. He is better here. He's better yeah, here. Yeah, but the guy in the blue. Who is that? Uh, it oh, is Han man. Solo himself, Alden Ehrenreich. Let's Solo. talk about why Solo is a good movie. Ready? I'm taller than Han Solo now. Yeah. I'm s- uh, now I'm older than Han Solo, but I'm s- a lot smarter than Han Solo now. Why is that? Uh, because Han Solo was only cool for a brief window of time where he dealt drugs, killed people, and got the chick. Uh, and that's his best friend it. he met in jail. And his best friend he met in jail. Who and you know what? Speaking. He had loyalty, and he paid back his uh, creditors. He pays Jabba the Hutt. Jabba's just a dick about it. He and tries learned, to bring that money back. And we learned the whole thing about parsecs. And you know what? They destroyed the entire movie Empire Strikes Back, which is an outlier among Star Wars movies. Why? What? Because it's good. Because it's good. (laughs) Exactly. Uh, It's unusual for uh, Star Wars and good to be co-associated. And soon to be known. Actually, Uh, I can guarantee you that all Cocaine Bear movies are good, but not all Indiana Jones. Right right now, Indiana Jones is among the greatest of movies, and Steven Spielberg is among the greatest of directors. Only because Mangold's Indiana Jones and Cocaine Bear have not been released, okay? 
I think uh, some things about the greatest director and the greatest movie are going to change oh. once Cocaine Bear By the way, the, uh, I have theaters. way more anticipation for Cocaine Bear than Indiana Jones. Uh, I'm rooting for Cocaine the, Bear. The didgeridoo of destiny. I'm rooting for Cocaine Holy Bear. Holy shit, Ray Lula looks this great. This is the second trailer in a row I've rooted against Han Solo. <laughs> By the way, Felicity looks great in that uh, pink onesie. It, you can no. get something like this at Paper Doll Vintage in beautiful... And at the beautiful Long Island. At, at the fence post marks uh, on the, uh, the Island, at one on minute Street. one minute eleven uh, here of our trailer, we see the woman from Total Recall who's going to be on Mars. That in two really is weeks, uh, and she's wearing uh, a ranger hat. It's like our, it's her granddaughter, but my God, does it look like her? Is, is that she's going to be on Mars that? for two weeks? We're at one one one, by the way. One uh, minute uh, on the uh, the Universal symmetry of this yeah. trailer. It's like a music. It comes you know, and I think I went a little far in a You know what? Of you know what I think about the, the cocaine bear trailer as compared to the indie trailer? It's fucking great and I want to see this movie. Faster, more intense. <laughs> also, no, it just feels like that because it's entertaining. And by the way, Felicity, a case for marriage, a case for marriage, Carrie Russell. You are a rare and exquisite <sighs> beauty. Uh, old and Erwin Reich, making me laugh here. You know, uh, you're not. It's not your fault about the Han Solo movie, here, old and Erwin Reich. It's John Kasdan's fault. He has no talent. What? John Kasdan, son of Lawrence Kasdan. He's a weird, oh, he's like sort of a lucky Kasdan. sperm club kind of guy. He gets to name? write this movie because of who his father was. It's the reverse of prejudice. We don't discriminate against him because of who his father was. What was that? We let him write shitty movies because of who his father was. John Kasdan, creator of the Hansel, the filmmaker. What was that really good um, Lawrence Kasdan movie that came out? The Seven Percent Solution. Silverado. Uh, the Empire Strikes Back. Oh, a shit ton of them? Oh, is it, no, he didn't do Empire Strikes Back. He did Return of the Jedi. You're wrong. Did he do it? He wrote with, um, Empire Strikes Back? He wrote both? Is he, is he involved with both? I want I want you to finally pay me for this if, I, if I'm right. Yeah. Hey, well, let's finish up this trailer, Admiral. We still got a, another... Uh, this is one crazy trailer. 39 seconds um, left. There, are there's, a, there's a bear in jumping into the back of an ambulance right now on cocaine. And now in the scene that is just great, we have... Uh, a strong female police officer firing her I weapon. I don't know that. I don't think anyone here is strong. You know what? This person is being as strong as she can by actually re firing at the bear. What else can you do? She's at least using her the best means at her dispo ex uh, disposal. You can give it a you can give it a Narcan donut. I'm gonna say this. Even though it's only a 38 and it's a coked up bear, it is like getting hit with a baseball bat wrapped in a pillow for the bear. Probably. It's yeah. yeah. It's not fun getting shot. It's shocked. not fun. I've Jeez. never been. I've done cocaine. You know what? But I've never aim, shot she on seems cocaine. to be nailing the I've bear. I've had sex on cocaine. And then a jump that I'm looks sure it's not like, like it's going to be successful. I'm rooting for Cocaine Bear. It's fucking a tree now. He's humping a tree very aggressively. Listen, I've, I've, I've seen some sexy We've got a stand in for Richard Dreyfus. Uh, Alyssa wow. Banks, All right. the filmmaker. Uh, she's the visionary. Holy shit. Um, she visionary has a lot of right. talent. Um, she's uh, not quite uh, the same as Mangold, who mangled that Indiana Jones trial. No. And you know, the time travel in that. James Mangold's an accomplished. Director. James Tin Man is he's, uh, he's throwing it all away. James Tin Man has given us a strange trailer that could be anything. We don't know where that thing's going. We saw what could have been a half a YouTube a half a Wikipedia article about the movie, right? Yeah, but you know what you could do if you direct an Indiana Jones movie? Put in a stupid line like it's not what you believe but how hard you believe it. Buy a lot of buy a lot of cocaine that you could kick out of a train to buy, a horse. Buy, so, you know what? If I was on the spot and I couldn't come and this was the best script I could come up with I would get on and off trains and planes with a lot of cocaine, hoping to be thrown in jail and fired yeah. off the movie. I mean, because you can use the money you were paid to get out of going to jail in the 21st century in a, when this movie well, comes out. Well, in New York City, you don't even have to pay to get out of jail. You can just get out of jail and murder more people. The criminals are... On cocaine. Uh, and not even be a bear. In New, the people of New York are represented by two separate but equally important bodies. But that's Please a different explain. story. That's a whole other podcast. <laughs> Um, so, um, what are your what are your final thoughts of uh, Cocaine Bear? Cocaine Bear is the Indiana Jones we wanted. So it is everything we wanted from the Indiana Jones trailer. I have to compare it this. is badass. It is dangerous. It is exciting. It is logical. It is true to its name. The name of the movie is Cocaine Bear, and, and bear we get cocaine. a bear on cocaine. In Indiana Jones and the Dial Diaphragm of Destiny, do we we don't really get Indiana Jones. We get a deep faked Harrison Ford. And old Harrison Ford here and there, and Phoebe Waller bag. Um, You'll be the sorry. Love, she's lovely and all, but I don't know if anyone wants. Do we want an Indiana Jones TV show for Disney Plus next summer? Wasn't there already an Indiana Jones TV show? 
it was a great show called in Young yeah, Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones, which I guess fuck that now, right? What about old Indy? That's I guess this. He couldn't have done that. I mean, where was uh, Sean Patrick Flannery would have been preferable to this? He was in Boondock Saints in 2003, I'm sure. So, you know what would be great about this Cocaine Bear movie? If it had short round in it, like Indiana Jones didn't? No, if the uh, the bear does all the cocaine, mm-hmm. is high for 10 minutes, uh-huh. then calls the dealer again, the dealer's yeah. asleep, and then the movie ends. <laughs> With the bear getting on the subway to the dirty part of town. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, okay, it's all right. I'll meet you. It's fine. I'll be by you. He's going to the dirty part of town. If you can tell me and the Admiral have partaken in, we have, in some alcohol. We do not uh, take cocaine. It not is not a currently. illegal drug in our century as is yours. And in our time, we've overcome the need for drugs. I mean, yeah. But the want <laughs> remains. That's you know what I need more yeah. than cocaine? A good Indiana Jones movie. And you well, know what? You I'll watch, watch that, one. You can watch, watch any Indiana. of the three that came I, out, yeah. You can watch Raiders so of the Lost Ark. May one of the I greatest compare what I saw time. to a movie called Snakes on a Plane? Snakes on a Plane was better. Or the Cocaine Bear? Did you ever see Snakes on a Plane? I saw it in Snakes on the a Plane is a brilliant movie that I it's saw not. in theaters as well. It's terrible. But I also saw it on a phone. It's it was meant to be seen. It was it was running on a premise. Snakes on a Plane. It was a one joke movie. Yeah, yes, but this looks like it's a several joke movie. You have Ray Liotta. You have, a, you have, a, you have Felicity. You have uh, Felicity. You have the star of Han Solo. We have Han Solo. You have... um. I feel like shorter, dumber, uh, stupider. I feel solo. like someone who's well seasoned in Hollywood is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks. It's not going to well, just we're count. Get in so much trouble for calling her well seasoned, and we're not allowed to call her beautiful. She's been around she forever. Is. You know what? When this broadcast goes back to flawlessly the people in gorgeous Elizabeth Banks, it, you've just made so many people so angry by undercutting her creativity. But you know what? More power to Elizabeth Banks. Betty she is Brand beautiful. from uh, Spider-Man, and she's a Hollywood survivor at this point. She's been around a long Wait, time. How, she was in the sequel for *When How American Summer*. Yes, uh, I believe she was. And she's in a lot of fun movies and saves a lot of movies. I, I like Elizabeth Banks, and we can we she can bank several, on Cocaine she, Bear. She sa- she's. Saved several television shows as well. I'm going to say this right now. If Cocaine Bear is 70 to 90 minutes, it's a five-star movie. Oh, my. If it is less than 90 minutes. Anyway, so I want to... I want this, this movie to be like a Ramon song. Like two minutes of intensity without a guitar solo. Okay, okay, okay. Took my, I get the point. Because it's really all guitar solo in a Ramon song. Those chunky chords are better than any guitar solo. I agree. Hey, and that's I what guess. Cocaine Bear is. And the it, CGI, it is all the par- power chords you want to hear. And unlike Indiana Jones 5, the CGI, we were supposed to laugh at. Good. We want. I want to laugh at a cocaine bear. Uh, bad CGI is so a good kind. My, my correlation is there's a movie called Painting Game by Michael Bay. Okay. It was like one of his movies, like, I give you two, you give me one, the Transformers, and he does a personal movie. Right. right. So an idiotic premise. It's it about is. an extortion of um, these meatheads from a gym. And I can say meatheads because I'm trying to be one. Um, right. And it, it has a very shallow premise, but you can tell it's also not the best. It's a solid rental as this is going to be. But the everyone that was in this movie brought something to it. Anthony Mackie brought something to it. The Rock brought something to it. Um, what's her name? Rebel, um, the Australian lady from the singing movies. Is it Rebel Wilson? Is that Rebel right? Wilson was excellent in this movie. With a Rebel Only yeah. Shalhoub was in it, starring Mark Wahlberg. This movie is so awesome and compelling. I highly recommend it. But everyone was in it 100%. Captain this trailer, Teddy. yeah, it's an un, 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 unreserved endorsement there. Yeah, and I feel like this movie, like, there's something more going on. There's going to be plenty of good cocaine jokes. Cocaine Bear is going this to be, be a good, good movie. This can be and you good know, did you notice? Jokes. Did you notice the joke at the end? Get in line. I did not. And uh, do they use blowing into theaters? Do they say I that? I did not see that. I was too. I was too involved with how great the trailer was. To notice! You know, let's let's just say that that movie takes place around 1980, 1985. Because the collar it, on yeah, Ray Liotta, it, my man. Ray Liotta. Holy shit. Pour one out to Ray Liotta, gone too I, soon. Oh, no. But much more, Whoa, a much more live performance than the one we saw from Deep Fake Indiana Jones. Agreed. Also, if you like... That was a goddamn puppet if you show. See, if you want to see a, a Ray Liotta tour de force, please watch the movie Narc. And I think what we should do Plays now is cop. tell everybody... Thanks a lot for sticking with our review of Indiana Jones vs. Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear 1! Like and follow this channel. I'm Admiral T, your buddy with my pal, Admiral Petty. And thank you for joining us because we have sheer fucking hubris. Thanks to all who come through and see this and all who drop by later. We salute you.